Hey guys, EHP Labs athlete Zach Perna here, and on today's video, I'm gonna explain the differences between EHP Labs' Fat Burner Oxy Shred and the EHP's pre workout Pride. So, let's get into it. Okay, so firstly, EHP Labs' Oxy Shred comes in three main forms. So, the first one is the OG Oxy Shred, my personal favorite. Then we have the non stim, which is no stimulants, no caffeine, and the hardcore Oxy Shred. This one is a little bit more intense, more for the people who are used to Oxy Shred and maybe need uh, two scoops. Pretty much just more caffeine in this one. Um, all of them come in delicious flavors too. You just you can't go wrong. So whatever your whatever your preference is, just go nuts. And there's pretty much four main pillars of the benefits of Oxy Shred. The first one is hyperlipolysis which pretty much means that OxyShred can pull the fatty acids out to be used as a preferred energy source. So essentially it'll help burn more fat. The second one is mood enhancers. The bitter orange extract, raspberry ketones, grapefruit seed extract, and many other ingredients all enhance your mood and suppress appetite. So I notice this one a lot, particularly if you have OxyShred in the morning, you just feel better, a bit more happy, a bit more energetic, and especially this is great for people who are used to having, say, a morning coffee. If you're having a latte in the morning, you swap it out for OxyShred, and not only are you actually saving on those calories, but you just feel different. No crash as well. Now the next benefit is it will boost your metabolism. The stimulants in OxyShred improve metabolic rate and suppress appetite, allowing for less calories to be consumed. And lastly, tying into their mood enhancement as well, it can also boost cognitive performance and memory. So essentially OxyShred, it will help you burn more body fat, but you don't really feel that, you don't really know that that's happening. So what you will notice is a suppressed appetite. So for me, definitely notice this, especially if I'm fasting, I can, if I have OxyShred, I can definitely prolong the fast a little bit longer. You don't get that sweet craving, particularly me, because I have a sweet tooth. So the flavors are so nice, paired with the stimulants and the caffeine, you, you just can, it just suppresses that. So that's really, really good. And another one is that mood enhancement, just that general well-being. I've had a lot of fat burners in the past, and oftentimes they just jack you up so much with energy, you just feel a little bit anxious jittery it just doesn't feel comfortable and sweating as well is not nice whereas this is you could have it every day even if you're not a trained person if you're not an athlete you're not going to the gym that day you're not doing cardio even still you can still have oxy shred and feel great that's why i take this with me pretty much everywhere i go all of my trips if i'm going overseas i always will have one of these because you just you can literally have it every day no matter what you're doing so big fan of that now we do get the question a lot of what is the difference between this and the pre-workout pride. So by all means, like a lot of people have been taking OxyShred as a pre-workout. Um, that's perfectly fine because you do get that really good sense of well-being and, and energy from OxyShred. Um, but pride pre-workout is something that EHP Labs and myself had created nearly two years ago now to be pretty much the king of pre-workouts. Like that's what it says on the, on the tub, the king of pre-workouts. We made this to be something very different to what you see in the market because I have had experience in supplement stores and I've tried heaps of pre-workouts and noticed what was in them, noticed what I liked, didn't like, and so we wanted to make something that was just not available in the market. Now this is an industry first, clinically dosed, full strength pre-workout for those who take their training seriously. Now, when we say that, it doesn't mean it's got all of the caffeine and all the stimulants in there to make you just freak out and get the jitters. This is, it's the exact opposite of that really. So my worry when we first made this was that people would say, it's not the strongest because they're looking for like the most caffeine you could possibly fit in something. And it's not the goal here and it's not the point of the product. So this whole purpose of Pride is to give you guys the best performance in the gym possible and just to fuel you with the best nutrients for that. So this has all the ingredients that are essential to perform. And what you will notice from this is better workouts in general and better recovery. And so the quality of your sessions will increase. You will have no crash, no jitters, and no annoying tingling sensations. This is just a clean energy with everything you need for a great session. So again, the benefits of Pride, it comes in a few different aspects. First one being blood flow. We want to increase blood flow during the workouts. That's why we have five grams of citrulline in Pride. And this will help the body produce more arginine, which in turn will create more vasodilation in the body. Pride Pre-Workout has five grams of essential amino acids, which will help aid performance and recovery. And also it has an industry first pentaphene, which is a five stage caffeine matrix. Now, I always found with pre-workouts, you have it, it's fast acting caffeine, it's in the system, and then it feels like it's straight out again, you get this crash. The jitters will also be accompanied with that, um, but we wanted to make something different. That's why we have five different types of caffeine in here, five sources. So you'll get a fast release of caffeine, and then it'll also get a little bit slower. So I noticed this in the sense of my sessions, I felt like I could just keep going. I just wanted to keep training. It didn't feel like I was getting to that uh, end of the session, I'm getting pretty dead now. It's like I was just all the way through and then weirdly enough, no crash. It's just like, it's just perfect. And my favorite benefit about Pride is the focus blend. My workouts, I always value focus above pretty much anything else because if you can't focus in the gym and what you're doing, your sessions are usually pretty poor. If you're distracted, everyone knows the sessions where they're distracted and you just can't really focus on what you're doing. But the ones where you can really dial in and have tunnel vision focus is where you have the best, the best sessions in my opinion. So Pride has so many ingredients for focus. We have tyrosine, we have serenade, theobromine, and also taurine. So this will give you that tunnel vision focus and then you won't, your mind won't be wandering, you won't be distracted, you'll just be focusing on the task at hand, which is getting massive, or at least having a good workout. 
And before we get into the differences between OxyShred and Pride, I just wanna give a quick plug to the brand new flavor of Pride, which is Fantasy Soda. Absolute favorite. We'll do it, actually, let's do a taste test. So before this, my favorite flavors were apple or raspberry twizzle, I'd alternate. Um, but this one absolutely takes the cake, I think. This is just, they're getting better and better, which is insane. Mixes very well. Let's see what this tastes like. I mean, I've had it before, but I'm <laughs> just for you guys as a live one. Perfectly sweet with a lot of water too, which is nice. It's, or it's pretty much, I mean, if you didn't know what it was, you'd probably look at this and go, that's like orangey mango. Like there's a lot of mango in this is why I love it. Cause it's like a, just a nail the mango flavor. Um, but it does, there's a bit of tropical too. So it's like orange tropical mango, just so good. So the link is in the description if you guys, you need to get this. I'm not gonna even pretend like you just have to get it. Cause the flavor is amazing, the product's amazing. So that's not the, the biggest plug I can, I can tell you, I don't know what it is. But if you don't like it, you can definitely come and blame me, but guaranteed you guys are gonna love this one. Favorite. So now talking about the differences and I guess the similarities between OxyShred and Pride, a couple of things I guess we, we should touch on is the caffeine because that's really the only thing you want to worry about when people are saying, can I take them together? What's the disadvantages? What's the advantages? You just pretty much need to worry about the caffeine content because we never advise to consume more than two scoops of something like Pride or OxyShred. So you just have to time it really well. Now I'll tell you pretty much what you can do and also what, what I like to do. And if you're looking at the caffeine content of each individual tub, we've got Pride is about equivalent to 140 milligrams of caffeine per scoop. OxyShred, very similar, 150. Your non-stim OxyShred, zero. And then the hardcore, 275. So that bit stronger. So I wouldn't want to stack hardcore and Pride together. For me, hardcore would be like a really good cardio one if I was doing a proper cardio session. Pride, save this for the training. And the way that I like to see these as well is on rest days, no matter what, I'm always, I like, just love having OxyShred. So if I'm resting, always in there. So one thing that you can do, and a lot of people like to do this, is let's say you train in the afternoons, bang, perfect. Have OxyShred in the morning for either faster cardio or just before breakfast. One scoop in the morning, and then have one scoop of Pride before your session. Now that is the most common way of doing it. Um, one other thing I like to do is actually stacking these two together. So take the non-stim OxyShred and take your favorite flavor of Pride, mix them together. I did this with the, both apple flavors was ridiculous. And you'll get a lot of benefits from fat burning from the OxyShred non-stim, as well as the performance benefits from Pride if you're training in the morning. And similarly, what I do most days, which is I have one scoop of Pride in the morning, um, and I actually have this when I'm literally reading in bed. That's my morning routine. I'll sip on Pride, read in bed. It's like my favorite part of the day. Uh, and that's why I don't feel crazy energy. I just feel like, okay, I'm ready to go. Then I'll go down, I'll train. After that, uh, after I train, it's probably around 9 a.m., I sit down to do some work and that is where I have my OG Oxy Shred. So either this or the cans actually, I've been having the cans recently, it's so nice. But then I'll just sit down and, and have this. It'll suppress my appetite that little bit longer, helps me with intermittent fasting and then I have my first meal around 12 or one and my focus and everything all day is just back through the roof. So that's my personal way of doing it is pride, then I gotta sit down and then before 12 p.m. I'll have some Oxy Shred and that is like my go-to daily routine. So I'm curious guys, comment below if you've had either OxyShred before or Pride, or you have questions on these. Now, to wrap this up as, as best as I can with a few take home points, everybody I think would benefit from OxyShred because whether you just drink coffee or you train or you do cardio or whatever that is, people just love OxyShred and there's no, there's no surprise why. It's just, it's an amazing product for general well-being and fat burning. So um, OxyShred is pretty much belongs, <laughs> should belong to everyone. Pride is your training pre-workout essential. Now, if you're going to the gym, this is the only pre-workout you, you should be taking. I'm very biased because I helped create this, but I did it for a reason. This is, it's just the best. And the people who take this swear by it. So Pride is just the only thing you need for a pre-workout. But if you want to have both, you definitely can. And we'd recommend having a scoop of Pride and then a scoop of OxyShred. Just make sure that you're not timing it too close together. Ideally, you want about six hours in between caffeine, just because it has a half-life of six hours. So it gives you a bit of time to the body to get rid of it. So you're not just overstimulating yourself. But like I said, two scoops per day is, I wouldn't exceed that and that's usually fine. But make sure it's, you know, one of Pride and then one of your OxyShred. I wouldn't stack the hardcore with Pride. The caffeine count might get a little bit too high. But otherwise, um, it's entirely up to you how you guys want to take this. Now, uh, that is it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this and took something out of it. Maybe learned a couple of things. And like I said, comment below your experience with these products and any questions you may have. And we'll see you in the next video.